welcome to the Ossium Physio YouTube channel. Today we are going to be talking about why am I getting pain in the front of my hip or into the groin area. So it's a very, very common symptom that people present with when they come into clinic, saying I'm getting pain or tightness around the front of the hip, but there's lots of different causes for this. Number one, the most common thing that we see is osteoarthritis of the hip. So this is determined as degeneration within the hip joint. So typically what we find is real kind of deep pain and tightness into the front of the groin. People typically present with rigidity and stiffness and loss of movement into your hip over time. You find weight bearing through the leg or going from a seated to a standing position. So any kind of loading through that hip joint becomes incredibly, incredibly tender. And one of the things that people report is putting socks on or bending forward to tie up your shoelace can be incredibly painful as it's pressing the joint surfaces together. So when me and Oliver have discussed this before, what we were saying is obviously we'd want to determine the severity of this osteophyte, severity of wear and tear in the hip joint. So you want to know this person's past history, so any trauma or issues with the hip before, if it's affecting their daily activities and what it's like on testing because if we're bringing the hip up into that flex position, uh, position and then internally rotating if that's incredibly sharp and tender and it's getting worse over time what we would probably look at is sending for imaging sending for an x-ray assessing what's going on in the hip joint and then determining the outcome from there number two groin pain can be due to labral issues so damage within the hip joint and this can occur in younger clients, so younger patients as well as older. So we're taking a younger onset, there's normally a traumatic onset into the hip typically, or any past history of high impact sports, or any previous history of dysplasia, so changes in the congruency of the hip joint surfaces. The labrum, which is your fibrocartilaginous cup within the hip joint, it allows the congruency and the movement and the support within the hip joint. If it's damaged, either it's lipping away or any damage into the labrum, it causes catching or locking or pain or weight bearing, typically giving a C sign, so a C shaped sign around the side of the hip and can be incredibly, incredibly debilitating. So me and Oliver have discussed this before. We said if someone's coming in with this, we want to send for imaging work out what's going on, work out what type of impingement they've got or damage of the labrum and work out the best course of treatment for them. If it's all come back clear then our aim, same as osteophytes, would be to get it moving. If we're thinking there's this involvement in an older client there might be degeneration of the labrum which is typically associated with osteophytes. So the same principles that we said with the OA management and treatment to work out what is going on. Number three, we typically find damage or tightness or issues with your hip flexors, so with the tendons around the front of the hip. So we have done a video on relieving hip flexor tightness, so we'll add this in the bio underneath, but you commonly get a real kind of deep ache into the front of the hip. It's worse for lifting up the leg, so where you're engaging your hip flexors. So people who sit for long periods of time during the day can typically get quite tight hip flexors. And so you find when you're, you, when you're using Using the hip or any kind of hip based activity it can get quite achy and sore around the front of the hip so that's where we'd want to stretch around the front we want to get movement into the hip like we said working the posterior muscles so into the glute max med and min around the side as well and trying to take the pressure off plus thinking osteopathically getting you moving during the day so when you're working getting you up at regular intervals trying to move every hour opening up through the hip so that long term you're less likely to cause tenderness around the front number four which is kind of going the other side so less mechanical would be inguinal hernias so we typically see these in males between the ages of 40 and 60 what you find is normally pressure based activity that is aggravated through the hernia so normally coughing sneezing bearing down makes the pain worse it's very very pinpoint typically they find that when they push into the location of the pain and the hernia it normally makes it a lot better and can be just persistent the whole time so we again we've done a video on hernias and how they present with Wednesday wisdom but if we're thinking that someone possibly has a hernia and we've assessed the hip and the SI joint and the lower back we'd want to send on 
define the extent or severity with the hernia so going and see the doctor as repair might be needed or watchful waiting so it's working out what's going on is it due to either a mechanical cause or any other disruption like we said with the hernia finding the best course of treatment for you and finding out the best management 